another reminder, if you weren't here earlier on, please do not... Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. I'm with my good friend Ricky Norwood at the Dancing on Ice Studios at Bovington, right near Watford. <laughs> Ricky, what just happened tonight? Incredible, mate, incredible. Mate, thank you very much. Thank you, firstly, for coming. Um, it's, it was so nice to see you in the crowd. But um, yeah, we just had a great night, really. Um, we've done our first skate, and I really enjoyed the music. I really enjoyed that it. it was musical week. I could jump into the character as well. And I felt that we'd done really well with it, but we ended up, and I've got my highest scores yeah. of the season so far. So I was kind of like, I'm always prepared for the dance off, the skate off, but I was kind of like, all right, cool. Maybe we've just kind of scraped through. But then they called our name for the skate off. And when it got to the skate off, I was just like, okay, cool. I was super calm. And I just said to my partner, if this is it, let's just go out there and enjoy it. Can I just stop you because We've spoken to so many people this evening. Everyone seems to have said the same thing. Mm. You shouldn't have been in that bottom three. How are you feeling at that point? I, 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 honestly, I've been preparing myself to go every week. So I've, when I stand there in that elimination lineup, I start going of just smiling to myself about the experience that I've had. And then I start going through in my head about what this, the next routine will be, the skate off. So today, I, I thought we might have just scraped through because we got the highest, our highest scores so far. But then, and it was like, don't listen to the scores, don't listen to the leaderboard, you've got to be prepared for whatever happens. And I was like, thank you, darling. So she brought me back down, got me focused again. And then they called our name and I was like, okay, cool, let's go. And I was super calm with it. And I said to Annette, like, let's just enjoy it, go out there, give it everything, as we have done every single week. Yep. And then we'll see what happens. And luckily we get through. Well, it's not just like that. That skate off was incredible. Oh, thank you, you, you gave absolutely everything. You put everything into it. Talk me through it. Mate, I, I don't even know what happened. It's a bit of a blur, but... Because a lot of people seem, seem to be surprised by that level of performance when you have expected to perhaps go out yeah. in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, know what's, I don't know what's happened this week, but a lot of people have kind of said, you look like a different person. And Christopher nice. Dean got up and shook your hand. I mean, that's, that was it. That, that says was a it. lot. That was it for me, do you know what I mean? I was like, wow, okay, high scores, and I got a handshake off of Chris Dean. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's pretty special. So I was like, if I'm going, I mean, I've done everything that I needed to do, do you know what I mean? So luckily we're here for another week. Uh, rehearsal start tomorrow, early. So um, we go again. Ricky, talk to me about um, how hard this experience has been. Although it's been fantastic, mm. it's been really hard work, hasn't it, for you? Yeah, it's been the most difficult thing that I've ever done, honestly. Um, I discovered afternoon naps doing this job, <laughs> I'm telling you. Because it's like physically, mentally, emotionally, um, it's just a roller coaster every single day. So it does take it out of you. And, you know, from where I started, you know, if you saw week one where my, I couldn't even walk on the Holding on to the barriers, my, my, yeah. My boot was shaking yeah. about and I was holding on to the barriers. And now to, you're jumping, to, going yeah, backwards, you're I doing mean, all sorts. It's mental, it's mental. But I, what I did do is I stopped thinking about it. So all of those voices in my head that said you can't or this is dangerous or what you're doing. Um, you should be on the Spurs, pod uh, Spurs podcast chatting about Tottenham instead of doing this palaver. I started we can't wait to have you back, by the way. I can't wait to be back, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, but I got all of those voices out of my head and I was just like, all right, I'm just going to do what I'm asked to do and trust that they trust that I can do what they're asking me to do. So I must be able to do it. And then I just jumped in. And that's what this week was about. I just jumped in. I, was, I just went for it, you know. Ricky, incredible support today, um, especially support. for someone like Ryan, who actually fell over yeah. a couple of times, picked himself back up, and uh, you know he's, he's been an incredible performer. Yeah. Um, how is it in the studio? It's nuts. I mean, a lot of people are like the nerves are all over the place. So everybody, that doesn't matter what level they're at, everybody feels the nerves, and everybody's kind of apprehensive about going out and putting on a good show because everybody works solidly and works so hard to do what they need to do, learn a new routine, learn that music, and then there's always a trick or a lift or something that you're you're not used to. Um, so everybody works so hard to get there. So it means so much to every single person that's in the competition. So for Ryan to get back up after two falls, which I didn't even see at that point, yeah. 
um, for him to get up and keep going, uh, that's, the, that's the mark of a true showman. I've got to say, I felt very emotional watching you. Your both performances, incredible performances, but I felt very emotional. Mm. Is it emotional when you're out there? Yeah, my first two weeks were really emotional. Uh, my first one, I remember, like the adrenaline was, was searing through my body, and as soon as I finished, I felt like I needed to cry. And then when I got off, um, you got to go straight and do your kind of aftermath interviews. And it was asking me questions, and I was just like, guys, I was trying to push it down. Like, it was, I could feel it bubbling up, and I was trying to push it down, but they kept asking questions, and I was like, guys, I can't, I can't, I can't. Can I just have a minute? Um, so the emotions are all over the place. But after that second week, when I stayed in, I, I was like, I was pretty much done with the nerves. I was like, this is not helping me. It's great, but like, it's not helping me. I've got to get rid of these and just enjoy the moment. You know, I've, I've worked. I know how hard I've worked. I know where I started. I know where I am. So I, I just came to the conclusion of whatever happens, happens. Let's just go out there and give it our best. And then we'll let the experts, the judges, make the decision. Ricky, the whole of the Spurs community are voting like mayor to Thank get you, you in. Thank you. Come <laughs> so on, come hopefully on. you will be in this competition for a good few more weeks yet. Um, have you been keeping up to date with Tottenham? What have you made of Spurs in the last couple of games? Yeah, do you know what? Um, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. I don't get to see many games because Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday are pretty much wiped out. So I managed to see the Brighton game yesterday. We finished early enough for me to see the Brighton game yesterday. Uh, first half was a bit frustrating. We, because we, we know, we all know now what we can achieve with this side. But at the same time, I had faith that Andrew would get a hold of them and he'd give them some words of motivation, and they'd, they'd, they'd come out fighting. And they, and they did, you know, they did. They came out fighting, and they showed their quality yesterday. And I felt that to to, to get the winner in the 96th minute, because we've got a couple of losers in the 96th, so to get yeah. the winner again was a, a beautiful kind of indictment of what Ange wants to bring to the side and what these boys believe in. Every single one of them boys know that something's cooking at Tottenham. They know, they can feel that something special is happening. Even a new midfielder, the sweet, Swedish boy, Bergvall, yep. Bergvall. Yep. even him, he knows that there's something special happening at Tottenham and that makes me excited. So we're still in our infancy, we're still in our baby steps. Um, but the, night, like, the nightclub was open last night. It was it. Was it? Was it kicking? Was it kicking off? <laughs> it was brilliant. And nothing like oh, a last minute winner. I miss it, mate. I miss it. I need to come down at some point. I miss the pod. I miss speaking about it, honestly. And um, I, I miss just tuning into the boys. You'll be back. Just bring that trophy home first. I'll try. I'll try. Ricky, we're back in the top four. Yep. Surely we've got to get Champions League for next season. I say surely. You know, after the start we had after all the difficulties on and off the pitch for Ange, you know, with players suspended, players injured, etc. Um, we've got that clear run now, you know, weeks, if not two weeks, break from yeah. each game. Yeah. You know, time to prepare, all yeah. the players coming time back. Rest, yeah. Surely you'd think that we'd get Champions League spot. Yeah, I, 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 of course, absolutely. But this this season's been such a roller coaster that what really gives me... What really gets me excited and gives me faith that we can achieve something this year is when we've had those suspensions, when we've had those injuries, we're, we're still in touching distance. We've only just ha got Madison, Sonny, Basuma back on the field, as well as Van der Ven and Romero and everybody else. Sars come back. So we're starting to go again. Do you know what I mean? So that's what excites me. And I think that these boys believe in themselves. They believe in what Ange has got to do and they believe where this club should be. So with those two weeks and with all the preparation and the rest time that they're going to get, I mean, surely we've got to get top four. The fact that we're still in it though, after all of the drama and all of the troubles that we've had, that's an indictment of growth because you know where we was last year and you know where we're going. Mm -hmm. You can feel it and I think every Tottenham fan can feel it too. Ricky, going back to Dancing on Ice, next yep. week you choose your own song. Yep. So is there any chance of having a Spurs song? I, I've put them down on the list, but they won't. They, they haven't um, signed them off yet. They haven't got the copyright for them. So um, next week is... An uh, Angels, perhaps? I, I would have loved Angels. I really would. But they've already used it in a previous season, so they didn't okay. want to use it again. So Glory, um, glory, Tottenham Hotspur, perhaps? That, no? again, would have been pretty special. But they can't get any of the Tottenham songs. They can't, they can't get the copyright for them. 
but I will be dancing to Bob Marley next week, which is, you know, is one of my favourite artists, he's one of my favourite performers ever. Not only can you just listen to it and have good times, yeah. but if you listen to what he's saying and his message, you can, you know, you can understand and kind of get a mixed feeling off of it, or you can put your own personal re relation to his music, and you can have a different experience with it. So. We've got a great song next week. Uh, it's going to be Bob. I'm going to bring Bob to the ice, and I can't wait for that. A Spurs fan as well, Pop was. Of course he was. And Ozzie. his son Julian. He's yeah. A Spurs fan. Ozzy yeah. is his favourite player. Yeah. Ricky, you're back uh, training tomorrow. I am. Another hard week for you. Absolutely. And we go again, and we see what happens. We just keep working. Like, like the boss says, we never stop, right? There's no ceiling, there's no floor. We never stop. So that's what we're going to do. Ricky, thank you so much. It's been a lovely evening. Thank you so much for inviting me to come and watch you. It's been incredible. Uh, keep up the great work. Mm -hmm. Keep the faith. And uh, every person who's watching this and listening to it, please keep voting for Ricky. Keep him in. We want him back on the podcast, but not too soon. <laughs> we want him to win that trophy on Dancing on Ice. Ricky, you're an absolute legend. Thank, thank you, you so much. Man. Come thank on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs.